South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham returned to the campaign trail on Tuesday to rally votes for Georgia Senate Republican nominee Herschel Walker. It is not Graham's first time stumping for Walker. He has previously attempted to galvanize support for the former football great in his attempt to unseat Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock. Walker and Warnock are facing each other in a December 6 runoff because neither could break 50 percent in the November election. Recent polls show them still neck and neck. Graham has spent the midterms stumbling for Republicans across the country and has paid particular attention to the ongoing Georgia contest. Oh, there's alcohol on the bus. <laughs> so uh, I'm from South Carolina. You know why I'm here? I'm tired of having my vote canceled out by two liberal senators from Georgia. Let's fix that, okay? You know how I got to South Carolina? My parents were born in Georgia. If you don't pay your bills here, you wind up in South Carolina. <laughs> you know why I'm behind Herschel? I'm tired of being run over by Herschel. <laughs> I followed South Carolina football all my life, and I've learned you don't want to get in front of Herschel Walker. This is a good year to be a Georgia Bulldog, don't you think? I can't believe I said that, but I did. I'm going to wear Georgia Bulldog stuff, and that ain't easy. So as Ted said, how about a round of applause for Ted for being a solid, consistent, great conservative? Thank you. You know, he, you know I lived two hours from here. He had to fly all across the country. And a story about, you remember the Alamo? You know why you remember it? Everybody got killed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bad news. The good news is we're still talking about them, right? The number two people, the first guy and the second guy at the Alamo, came from South Carolina. So the next time somebody from South Carolina comes to lead you, say no. But they left South Carolina to go to Texas to fight for freedom. Ted left Texas to come to Georgia to preserve freedom. I came here because I understand what is at stake, but I just want to say this. I've come to really admire Herschel Walker and his family. How about a round of applause for him and his family who put up with all this crap? How many of you voted for Kim? I don't even believe Kemp's got Georgia on the right track. Yeah. Question for Georgia. Why the hell would you send Warnock to Washington? Yeah. Anybody ever been in a rowboat? If I row one way and you row the other, where are we going? Yeah. Nowhere. How about Herschel being in the boat rowing for Georgia? Yeah. You'll be in France in about an hour. <laughs> Who would you want rowing the boat? Herschel. 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 Herschel's going to row the boat with Kemp to make you safer, yeah. to make you more prosperous. Yeah. It would be crazy, in my view, for the state of Georgia to elect a conservative governor and send one of the most liberal people to Washington to represent you. That makes no sense. We figured that out in South Carolina. So the bottom line is, this matters to the people of Georgia, it matters to my family, it matters to everybody in the United States. I dare say there's no more important time for America and Georgia than right now. You're the only thing between chaos and freedom. Schumer said this week a 50-50 Senate would slow him down. Here's my message, let's slow Schumer down. So, it's tough being a conservative, don't you think? Everybody's against you. How about being a conservative woman? That's tough. Being pro-life, you get marginalized, right? Hey, how about being a conservative like Tim Scott and Herschel Walker? You know why they're coming after him so hard? They're afraid of him. This is a liberal nightmare. To have an African-American 
conservative representing the state of Georgia, that would inspire people all over this country to look at the Republican Party and move. This ain't about one seat in the Senate. This is about the future of the conservative movement and the Republican Party. And the most intolerant people in America are liberals. When it comes to what they can do to us, there are no rules. It doesn't matter what they do to conservatives, they get away with it because the media never holds them accountable. Do you remember Kavanaugh? Yes. Do you remember me and Ted on the committee? Yes. Do you remember what they tried to do to him? Yes. Ruin the man's life, yes. destroy his family, yes. to keep a seat open so they could fill it. It's the most disgusting thing I've seen in Washington. But you know what? It didn't work. Trump stayed behind Kavanaugh. Ted and I and everybody on that committee stayed behind Kavanaugh. And their effort to destroy Kavanaugh failed. And what happened? Where did Kavanaugh go? To the Supreme Court. What are they trying to do to Herschel? Back him down, break his will, break his back, whatever it takes to beat him. And you know what's going to happen? They're going to fail. Yeah. And God help us all if they succeed. Who would want to follow next? So I can tell you right now, if they had beat Kavanaugh, it'd be hard as hell to get somebody else to want to run as a conservative for the Supreme Court. Herschel has stepped out. He has had a life amazing. From being Heisman Trophy winner country music singer, Food Channel, and the New York Ballet. If you can top that, you can finish this speech. So here's what I'm here to tell you. Georgia is going to have Herschel's back. You're not going to let them do to this good man what they want to do, which is destroy him. And you know how this movie ends with Herschel Walker? He's going to the United States Senate. In January, when we reconvene, Ted and myself, they're going to call the roll of each state. And when they get to Georgia, in January, they're going to say, starting for the state of Georgia, Herschel Walker!